what most people don't know about, uh, about Belgium, it has the most biotechnology companies. And the biotech is the future. And we are going to make sure that uh, uh, His Excellency gets to visit some of them. We are looking to take advantage of some of them so that we could um, disrupt some of the value chains in our country. Uh, I will give you an example that uh, in Kenya we are consuming mostly eggs from, from South Africa and, and Uganda. And then you ask yourself, how, how does a South African compete with someone in Kiambu who, who lives in a walking distance to Nairobi, that the egg in South Africa is cheaper than the egg in Kiambu? Um, we would be able to disrupt that if we adapt uh, to, to uh, biotechnology, which would reduce the cost of feed and make the farmers more competitive. We, we would want to see that happen. And not, just, not only that, we are looking at other biotech areas. Uh, as you know, uh, the changes in technology uh, also impacts on the technologies of food production. Um, this is a very key area and uh, no other country leads in Europe other than Belgium. We would have wanted him to stay for one whole week so that we take him round and uh, take this back to our country. Number two also, we are looking at um, building some partnerships uh, to create uh, manufacturing farms that would create employment. Uh, there are groups that want to set up uh, entrepreneurship centers in Kenya. And uh, with that, they can begin to exploit areas where there is opportunity. And because of that, you create space for creating a manufacturing company which people also to improve the efficiencies of some uh, methods of productions that we have in Kenya at the moment, um, from furniture to steel and all those. Um, we will take him through very quickly. I'm sure he would get the appetite to come back again and look at it in detail. The work that the Deputy President is doing in the space of, uh, of uh, agriculture, especially coffee and tea, is very critical in the sense that uh, this is the first time we are looking at the entire value chain and to see how we can restore. I think most of you know that uh, we have lost a significant amount of, uh, of coffee production in Kenya. Uh, I think we dropped from almost 110,000 uh, hectares to now hovering around 40,000 hectares. And I think that loss came as a result of mistrust. There is uh, what we call trust deficiency. And it is good we begin now to look at the mistakes we made that made farmers to, to lose hope in the crop uh, and be able to restore it. So what is going to come and see is what other countries are doing and uh, thriving. Uh, look at Brazil, for example. Brazil, they have their own warehouses here and, and they, have, they work with roasters all over the world uh, to be able to, to maximize uh, the, the, the earnings to the farmers. Um, if we are able to improve what the farmer gets, takes home, uh, we would create the incentive to expand our space of coffee growing. And the same as tea, that uh, once we begin to understand the market itself, uh, we never uh, looked at the market. Uh, what is trying to see is what happens in the downstream of the value chains and what it is that we can do to improve uh, so that the farmer gets value out of their crop. That is the other assignment which His Excellency would be visiting some of the larger uh, importers, uh, those who ro do roasting and uh, discuss with them the way forward. Uh, we are glad that our uh, Deputy President, His Excellency, 
uh, when Shawa is visiting Brussels uh, to attend the Global Gateway Forum. Uh, this is a very important forum uh, where the Europeans have raised, mobilized about 300 billion euros uh, towards investments in uh, developing countries. Um, as you know, Kenya has benefited from these uh, initiatives of the Global Gateway, um, the road from Malindi uh, to Maria Kani is actually being built under the global, global Gateway financing. There are many more uh, projects that they intend to finance globally. Um, it is a competitor initiative uh, towards uh, the China Road, uh, which is also trying to do some uh, developments in, in, in Africa, for example. And um, we are happy that uh, we are having this uh, happen now uh, when Kenya has uh, a new uh, development uh, initiative under the bottom-up initiatives in Kenya. Um, you are going to see a lot more happen leveraging on infrastructure development under the global gateway. And we are hoping uh, when his Excellency, the Deputy President here, is here, we can be able to discuss more other issues uh, that we would see uh, undertaken by the, by the Global Gateway. Uh, EU, we have worked with them previously. We want to intensify our relationships. Um, we have seen, um, I think you know, that we signed the Economic Partnership Agreement uh, we are waiting that it goes through Parliament and then we can have access to this huge market uh, where we have had relationships for many years. If you see what cultural products, they come to Europe. Um, we are beginning to, to work with the private sector for investments in, uh, in Kenya. Um, it, it is a good beginning and it is good that the, His Excellency the Deputy is going to be here to, to strengthen the relationships and be able to bring in investment funds into our country. Because we are expecting uh, uh, 40 high-level uh, representatives, uh, heads of government and several other organizations, we are going to see uh, like director generals of, of the WHO, WTO, these are very critical organizations. Um, you recall when we had, uh, when we had uh, COVID um, and uh, WHO was uh, on the screens throughout, we've been talking about uh, um, strengthening our development research and development. Actually, our deputy president is going to, to participate in a session for research education, uh, which is very critical in finding new solutions uh, for the many problems that we have, including uh, such issues that we had in the pandemic, what kind of relationships we create with these organizations and be able to, to serve our people best. So there, there are also other states where uh, the, the deputy president would have an opportunity. We are working towards creating opportunity for him to have bilateral discussions with various countries uh, besides uh, high-level uh, guests uh, from the EU. Yeah. There is a lot that we need to discuss. Um, you know our president has been very instrumental in climate change. And uh, everybody is talking about the green investment. Uh, we have started uh, to discuss with the EU uh, to see how we can build or strengthen our energy sector, especially the production of uh, green hydrogen, um, how we can begin to do farming, for example, 
which is uh, more oriented to, towards green. Uh, so there are several things that will be discussed which fall within the space of the emerging issues, uh, global issues around um, sustainability. Um, and many people want to talk to Kenya about that because of the leadership which our president has provided throughout the, throughout the world. We just finished the Nairobi conference in September. Um, we are planning to go into COP28 where we are looking towards to see whether the <coughs> developed countries can honor their, their pledges of 100 billion uh, US dollars uh, to developing countries which are not uh, emitters uh, of uh, carbon. Uh, we are talking about uh, working towards a green, uh, green economies. Uh, Kenya has been leading in that space. The well, president has been pushing issues around um, reconfiguring the financial systems globally. 